Hi folks, in honor of spring and Easter, I'm going to be showing you how to decoupage your own cute little Easter bunny today. And he comes with a little backpack, so after you've decorated him, you can put some candy or something in here, and maybe put him in somebody's Easter basket. So we're going to learn just the basics of using the decoupage paper and how to decoupage, but I'm going to show you also how to do some more specific lines and things like that. It's really not too bad, and then we're going to give him little pink ears too. So what we're going to need is you'll need a little paper mache bunny. We have them on our website. And we are going to be using the decoupage varnish as our base and as our coat. You'll need a brush and some scissors for the detail stuff. And then you're just going to need some decoupage paper. Um, I am picking a blue for the overalls. You can really pick any blue pattern you like. And a pink for the shirt because that's very holiday-ish for Easter. Now that we've got all our tools together, we're ready to get started. I just poured a little bit of our varnish in a little jar. And I've also got a jar of water. Whenever we're not using our brush, um, since it's going to have varnish on it, we want to put it in water so that we don't let it get all crusty and nasty because these will last a long time if you clean them and you're nice to them. So the first thing we're going to do is work on the little shirt. Um, you don't have to be as exact with the shirt because it can kind of just have a ragged edge at the bottom and we're going to be covering it when we do the overalls. So I've got my pink paper, and I'm just going to start tearing some smaller pieces. And to do the actual decoupage, you just want to take a little bit of the varnish and paint where you want to put it down. And after you've placed your paper, you're going to paint some more on top. So we're going to have a nice paisley Easter bunny. But that's the basic idea. So you want to leave his little hands exposed. I'll show you a little detail on that and um, later. And you want to work about halfway up on his little backpack. So I'm going to work a little more on this and come back to you with some more um, specifics on how to get the shape you want. Okay, so I've put a few more pieces on and I've started kind of shaping around my hand. And as you get closer to it, see like that's a good size piece. So as you get closer to it, you just want to pay a little more attention to the details around the edge. And I don't need quite this much sticking down here. I'm going to tear that off. But I'm just going to add smaller pieces and work my way around the little hand on both sides. So I've worked my way around and you don't have to worry about the under part of his little hands yet because the overalls are going to be there. And I've worked my way around. The only part of the shirt that I haven't done yet is right across the back of his neck. And the reason I'm going to show you that is I think that's the only place so far that I'm really going to need my scissors. Because it's a very precise little bit. So I'm just going to cut a little strip. It's about the same width as that gap. You 
and you should also, I've got a paper towel here to put excess water in. So I'm going to do like I've done with the rest and just paint a little down. I'm going to put my little strip down. And then that'll give you a cleaner edge where it's going to terminate right at the top of the little backpack. So his little shirt's done. And what I'm going to do is let each, um, I'm going to let the little shirt dry before I do the overalls. I think it'll just go a little better that way.